SAP just published an article on asset quality in, 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 for Italian, Spanish, Portuguese and Irish banks. Uh, Francesca, what is the main conclusion of the article? The ratings on the banks in Ireland, Spain, Italy and Portugal reflects our expectation that the large stock on non-performing assets will continue to wait on the bank's financial profiles for several more years. That said, we see lower risk for Irish and Spanish banks because we believe that they largely absorb the credit losses of the bursting of the real estate bubbles. Uh, we believe that uh, this stems from uh, uh, a solid economic growth and uh, a gradual recovery in the property market in these two countries. In fact, uh, for instance, uh, we forecast that uh, performing assets for Spanish and Irish banks will continue to uh, decrease uh, to 11% of the gross uh, loan book at year end 2018. Conversely, we believe that uh, in Italy and Portugal, the stock of non-performing assets will decrease more slowly uh, because of uh, a less favorable economic uh, conditions. What could accelerate progress in the NPA resolution? We believe uh, the removal of some obstacles that we see um, still persist in, uh, in Italy, uh, Portugal, uh, Spain and Ireland in our view. Uh, first of all, uh, the price gap that still exists between uh, the book values and the market price uh, of non-performing assets uh, in these countries, uh, which hinders, especially in Italy and Portugal, the development of a secondary market of non-performing assets, in our view. Second, the deficiencies in the, in, um, the legal and the judicial frameworks. Um, in our view, these uh, four jurisdictions have taken a lot of uh, reform to improve the, the, the legal and judicial frameworks uh, to reduce uh, the, the cost and the length of the foreclosure proceedings. But in our view, uh, to see some results, uh, it will take time. The ECB just published its guidance on the MPA workout. What's your view on this? We believe uh, that uh, this is positively. Uh, so we view positively the, the fact that the ECB uh, has strengthened its focus on non-performing assets. Uh, for instance, uh, we uh, expect that uh, these guidelines uh, will uh, increase the disclosure and the consistency of the definition of non-performing assets across all the countries in Europe. Uh, we also believe that this uh, would somehow enhance the recognition of problematic loans uh, and related credit losses for banks. But again, uh, even in this case, we believe that uh, these initiatives uh, will take some time to become effective in our view. Do you believe the creation of a bad bank could help banks to solve this issue? Yes, we have the example of Spain and Ireland, for instance. We believe that the bad banks in these two countries have been favorable and beneficial for their banking sector, respectively. Uh, for instance, first, uh, they alleviated banks with large stock on performing assets. Banks that transfer these assets to bad banks receive significant capital increase. Uh, second, uh, we believe that also uh, there, were, there were triggers for other banks to increase uh, the coverage of non-performing assets and to adjust the values of collaterals. And third, uh, we believe that uh, they somehow were a stimulus to uh, the development of a secondary market of non-performing loans. Uh, still, uh, 2017 is going to be a difficult year for Europe in terms of uh, for political reasons and we believe that the creation of that bank will take time. Thanks Francesca. Uh, you can find more details on this article on sp.global.com. Thank you.